Is this it? Am I a joke to you? Is that what we are? Is this how you get your sick kicks, Jeremy Crawford? By giving me less than a day to get an entire video done just so that I can review your fan fiction on a timely manner? You, you, you cad! This will be the day of your reckoning. You have not heard the last of Sir Davius Chap, second of his name, King of the Unearthed Arcana Reviews, Lord of the Dance, and Super Gay Boy Supreme! From now on, this means war! But with that out of the way, let's begin! So, the wonderful folks at Wizards of the Coast have once again decided to set upon us with a new Unearthed Arcana, this time giving us a new subclass to both the Sorcerer and the Warlock, two classes that I'm happy to see getting some much-needed love, and there's no time like the present to dive right into them, starting with the Aberrant Mind Sorcerer. The Aberrant Mind asks the Sorcerer, Hey Sorcerer, what have you got in your hand? And the Sorcerer says, Nothing. And you say, Sorcerer, is that an Eldritch Terror from beyond the Rift of Time and Space? And the Sorcerer says, No. And you ask, then why is my face gone. For whatever reason, you, as a sorcerer, have become afflicted with the maladies that we don't like to talk about because they're scary. You could have gotten down and dirty with an aberration, you could have escaped from a Mind Flayer testing facility, you could have gazed upon the secret recipe of the Colonel's Eleven Herbs and Spices, anything that could have mangled both your mind and body into a thing that barely resembles the humanoid that you once were. In mechanical terms, the Aberrant Mind can speak telepathically to other people, it gains an AC of 13 plus dex because of its disgusting monster body, you can spend sorcery points instead of spell slots to cast specific spells as if they were spooky psionic powers, you get resistance to psychic damage, as well as being charmed and frightened, and you can spend sorcery points to cause your body to spasm and shift into different forms that let you swim underwater, fly, get through tight spaces, or gain an effective true sight for up to 60 feet. Finally, when you reach 18th level, your connection with the Far Realms becomes so potent that you effectively act as a transceiver for its magic, meaning that, as an action, the area around you becomes difficult terrain and enemies take psychic damage while inside it. And when you shut off the ability, you can pull both yourself and anyone else inside the aura along with it teleporting them up to a mile away, so long as you can see where you're going. Honestly, this whole subclass reeks of being absolutely awesome! Maybe even a bit too awesome? Besides being an obvious stand-in for the psionic slash mystic, because we all know Wizards is hopelessly lost when it comes to that class, everything that this subclass does feels all gross and slimy, which is exactly what you want in a subclass that's meant to invoke the type of hentai that we all see coming. And it honestly feels to me like this subclass is meant for a more combative, fighty sorcerer, given that it gets similar benefits to the Draconic Bloodline Sorcerer, and that the Black Hole Capstone ability is made for keeping people close. The fact that the Sorcerer is finally getting spells attached to their subclass like they always should have had is great, and the only thing that I think is ridiculous is that the aura can teleport you so far away just like that, because teleportation abilities like that can be such a headache for DMs, even at high level play. Still, good job here guys. Moving on to the other area of tentacly expertise, the Lurker in the Deep Warlock is, as it sounds, a water-based warlock for those poor unfortunate souls who signed their life away to an obviously evil woman with an admittedly really catchy theme song. With the new pimp daddy being a terrifying giant octopus, or an evil kraken of evil, or a sentient crab bent on controlling the world's money supply, the Lurker in the Deep's power set revolves around being really... fishy. First off, this subclass lets you summon tentacles out of the ground and move them across the battlefield, fondling enemies and dealing either cold or lightning damage. You also gain the super useful ability of talking to any aberration, beast, elemental, or monstrosity that has its own innate swimming speed for up to 120 feet. After that, the Lurker in the Deep finally gets their own ability to swim underwater, because for some reason that isn't a baseline ability, and they gain resistance to cold damage, the ability to defend friends with your slimy appendage, you can summon up the mouth of your patron to bite down on unsuspecting bad guys, dealing damage and giving you temporary hit points, and your final ability lets you actually summon up a portal to your patron's realm, which you can either use to pull both you and anyone you choose through it to land somewhere within a hundred miles that you've seen before, or you can use it to UNLEASH MAXIMUM HENTAI, letting loose hundreds of spectral tentacles that strike up to five enemies of your choice for some pretty nice damage. The overall feel of this class is just as good as its sorcerer's companion. You want to get all wet and soggy? Pick a warlock and pick this archetype. It's got a lot of cool abilities, none of which feel too out of place, with once again the notable exception of an instant teleport that will end up frustrating DMs. Honestly, the this whole thing harkens back to the old sea sorcerer of UA's past, and I really hope that they're bringing your old fish boy back sometime to join in on the aquatic adventures. Overall, while I don't think that these subclasses are as crazy as a wild magic-infused barbarian or a monk that can punch you with its truest fist, I'm still really glad that we're getting playtest material again, because the more articles that come out, the more sure I am that a new source book is right around the corner. But that'll about do it! I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, join my discord, don't go diving underwater in search of unknowable terrors that would grant you mystic abilities in exchange for your soul, you'll just drown when you realize that you've forgotten your snorkel. And maybe support me on Patreon so that I can pay my medical bills for all this abuse that Wizards has been putting me through. But yeah, Davy out.